हेलो फ्रेंड्स 295 हंड्रेड नाइन्टी फाइव डेज ऑफ वॉर स्टार्टिंग टू डे फ्रॉम ईस्टर्न फ्रंट वेयर द रशियन फोर्सेज आर कंटिन्यूसली कैरिंग आउट असॉल्ट फ्रॉम नॉर्थ ईस्ट दैट इज सीवियर सोलेदार कमिंग टू साउथ बाखमुत्सकी बाखमुथ एज सच कुर्दी मोव का मिन्स्क उगलेदार एंड that also includes the donetsk city as per isw russian forces have fully captured vodiane to my mind it was already under russians but maybe some part wasn't and pmc wagner has attacked and probably taken over korsunsky southwest of bakhmut and this gives them access to road to constantinovka and chasov yar and it's under control a small but tactically important gain in north ukraine as per isw the russians carried out heavy shelling and assaults on kupiansk and liman direction and counter offensive in swatov kriminaya axis the counter and counter offensive from both the sides are continuing in kharkiv region as well as lpr region isw though it hasn't said but its map shows that in liman kriminaya and liman lishichansk where the russian forces had moved approximately 2 kilometers towards liman and in other sectors as well this particular area has swelled 2 to 4 kilometers on particular axis you can have a look that means the russians have managed some territorial gains in kriminaya liman lisichansk axis in south maximum positional battle is continuing where we can say that the russians are continuing their limited offensive and defensive operations while ukrainians are continuing their artillery attacks as deep as possible to degrade the russian military and their supply lines in the meantime there is a report that government offices in kiev has been hit by drones in two waves in which more than 100 drones participated this is probably first time that such a huge uses of drones were carried out that too in kiev and not only on military targets but those targets which are helping ukrainian military to grow direct and instruct them and probably the feeling that russians are preparing their massive large scale offensive in the beginning of 2023 another 15 days to go is likely to start in first week of january putin has said that such strikes that includes ukrainian infrastructure including energy are in response to terrorist attacks on russian soil like crimea bridge etc Yes Ukrainians have claimed that they have destroyed 13 Russian UAVs in the meantime there is a report by a representative of Ukrainian military that Russians have changed their tactics in Bakhmut and Avdiivka where they hope that the bleeding Ukrainian defense and soldiers they would reach a critical point and will go and get gaps and break through the ukrainian defense this operation now being called meat grinder which is continuing for more than 3 months of course not as a meat grinder but war of attrition which i have been using since long is taking place not only in bakhmut where it is in excess but all over the battle zone a small news attacks on journalists globally is has increased 533 this year increase of 13% and q 
killed increased by 18% up to 57. That's all from my side. Thank you, friends. See you tomorrow.